The Indian subcontinent is an area of great ecological and ethnic diversity. Various kinds of political organization arose here over the ages. The kin-based tribe headed by an autotrophic chief, the tribal confederacy and the extended empire. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. 1. Tribal societies. 2. Changes in caste structure. Tribal societies. Indian society was divided into many castes, varnas, clans, etc. during the medieval period. Besides, there were many societies in the subcontinent that did not follow the customary rules of Brahmans. These societies had their own rules and regulations. Their society was not divided into different classes based on birth or profession. They had their own language, art, craft, religious beliefs and ideas. Such societies are usually called tribes. Tribal people had very different kinds of lifestyles. They were very dependent on natural resources. Some tribes earned their livelihood from agriculture. Some were hunter-gatherers while others were nomads. By the medieval period, many forests had been cleared for cultivation and many pasture lands had been brought under cultivation. As a result, many tribes settled down and joined the mainstream of society. This led to their gradual assimilation into a society at large. Yet, even today, tribal people are still found in several parts of the subcontinent. They usually live in remote areas, forests, hills, deserts, etc. and are therefore able to retain their cultural heritage. Who were tribal people? In medieval times, many tribal clans rose to prominence both politically and economically. The areas of influence of a tribe varied at different points of time. In the northwest region, in Punjab, the Khokhar and Gakhar tribal communities rose to considerable prominence and founded their ruling clans. For example, Kamal Khan Gakhar became so prominent that he was recruited by Akbar as a mansabdar in his court. In Multan and Sindh, Langas and Argans were powerful tribes later subdued by the Mughals. Besides these, the Balochis were another large and powerful tribe. They wielded considerable influence in the northwest. In many parts of India, different tribal communities had established their independent kingdoms. These included the Gonds in central India, 14th to 18th century, the Chero in the 16th century in the region roughly corresponding to today's Jharkhand, and Ahoms in the northeast region. Many other tribes were spread across the country, including the Kolis in Maharashtra, the Bhils along with Gonds in central India, and the Munda and Santhal tribes in the eastern parts of India.